Charlie. Bravo secure. What's going on guys? Great Disciple back with another gameplay. Uh, in the background we have the continuation on my challenge of getting 70 kills in Team Deathmatch. Remember, I'm doing it a little bit differently. I'm going to try to do it in the hardcore mode. There is zero forgiveness in hardcore. I mean, <laughs> perfection is required. And this is a great gameplay. Uh, as you can see, we started off, the lobby was kind of empty. And it slowly fills up. And I'm moving through the map. You're going to see a couple cuts. It's not that I'm dying. It's just that I, it takes me a little while to find people. Which didn't necessarily hurt me. I had a couple of, of misreads on the map, which I regret. The gameplay is amazing. It could have been even better. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, my setup's pretty standard. Uh, it's the same one I've been using in, in a lot of the other videos that I've been working on. I have tweaked it since because I, I have a couple of gameplays after this one that you'll see. But this is a really, really good one. And one or two moves. And the, the score on this game would have been absolutely insane. So enjoy. Enjoy it. Um, I wanted to talk about something, all right? I, I watch a lot of videos, remember? And, uh, and you know, sometimes videos spark an idea. And uh, I was watching a GCP. I mentioned him in another video here recently. I think it was the Tim Tebow video. And uh, one of his subscribers, he was doing a QA, and a and one of his subscribers asked him his top five movies. And of course he gave them, and everybody has such a wide range of opinion when it comes to their top five movies. So I have a lot of subscribers, and you guys tend to, you know, they, you tend to put comments down below. And so I am really curious because I think that the movies that you enjoy, your top five, really do define who you are. So I'll give you my top five and you're going to think that they're crazy. But let, before I do, let me tell you this, okay? Growing up, I think it was starting around the age of 11 or 12, I started to collect movies. This was back when VHS was really big. DVDs weren't quite on the market yet. And uh, over the course of from the age of 12 to probably 28, uh, my collection grew to over 900 movies. I had VHS and DVDs. I watched virtually every single movie that you could think of from probably 1981 all the way to about 2005. I've since fallen out of love with the movies because I find that the stories repeat themselves a lot. But pretty much any actor, any director, I knew producers' names, I knew writers of the movies, I tracked literally everything. In fact, it's what I wanted to do when I got older. I had a lot of ideas on movies. Uh, I wrote down some, I did scripts with my friend. We used to act like we were in the movies and we would sit in front of a camera and we would we'd act like we were doing a talk show and stuff like that. It was so much fun. It brings back a lot of memories, but I used to be really, really into movies. So my top five may be a little bit different than most of y'all's. So and I'm not gonna put them in any particular order except for the number one, the number one, which will probably catch you guys off guard. But so uh, number five uh, would be Heat. I don't know if you guys ever saw Heat. It was with Al Pacino and Robert De Niro, kind of the best of both worlds. I loved that movie as a kid, all right? I used to watch that thing all the time. And a close tie for number five, I would put it probably outside my number five, was Armageddon with Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck. And people hated that movie, but man, I watched that movie so many times. I love that movie. Uh, number four, and, you <laughs> and I am married, guys, to a woman, but Pride and Prejudice. I love that movie, Pride and Prejudice, with Keira Knightley. I don't know what it is. I watch it. I just watch it. I just, I just like that movie. Um, number three would be Notting Hill. And Notting Hill because it has more of a, a personal um, interest for me because it's my wife and I's favorite movie. We, we probably watch it one time a year. It's a real close one with like Love Actually with Hugh Grant, but Notting Hill because we watch it all the time. It's got a great story. It's a love story. Uh, number two. And this is a close tie for number one for me. It was Last of the Mohicans with Daniel Day-Lewis. I love the soundtrack. In fact, I love that movie so much and the soundtrack so much, I used the music in my wedding. It was, uh, <laughs> it was played in the background of our reception and before our wedding started. Man, that movie brings back so many memories. If you guys haven't seen it, Daniel Day-Lewis, Last of the Mohicans, directed by Michael Mann. Oh, such a great movie. No, not Michael Mann. Was it Michael Mann? I can't remember who it was. I'll get back to you on that one. But my number one movie, Gross Point Blank, John Cusack. I know you guys are probably shaking your head like, why would that be? I don't know what it is about that movie. It's action-packed. It's got a little bit of a love story. 
and it's hilarious. I love that movie. I mean, the idea of becoming a hitman, and you know, I mean, after high school, I kind of disappeared from a lot of my friends. I, I just kind of took off. I did my own thing. So it reminded me a lot of myself, you know, going back to some high school reunion. Everybody's like, where in the world have you been? And then the idea of telling them all that, well, I'm a hitman. And then, you know, the reaction that everybody had towards them. If you guys haven't seen Gross Point Blank, I absolutely love that movie. I think from beginning to end. And Jeremy Piven, who plays his best friend, is absolutely hilarious in that movie. Love it. So I'm curious, what is y'all's favorite movie or your top five? Put them down below because I am so interested in hearing this plethora of opinions on movies. All right, you guys, as always, I hope you like the gameplay in the background. Been so good. As always, leave your comment down below. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.